I have a very disturbing question I want to ask right now, and are you ready? Because I'm going to answer this question, and you better take down notes. Here's my big question, disturbing question. If there is a loving God, why there's so much suffering in this world? If God is really a loving God, why are you suffering? Why is your neighbor suffering? Why is your mom suffering? Why, why, why are there kids in poor countries starving? Why? If God is a loving God. I'm going to answer that question right now. So you better listen. Here's my answer. For me, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. I wish I, I wish I knew, then I would pontificate right now. I don't. I'm sorry. After reading the Bible uh, for, 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 for the past 37 years, I don't know. I don't have the full answer. I've got hints, and I can share those hints with you. But if, I, if you want the full answer, wait until you die, you go to heaven, and, and, when, and when you face God, the first thing, first question that comes out of your mouth, Lord, can you please tell me why did you allow this so much suffering? You get the full answer there. Right now, you get hints. Because when you open the Bible, I'm telling you, when you open the Bible, there is no full answer there. You will not hear God explaining to you why they're suffering. But when you, when you open the Bible, you will see God saying, what should you do when you go through suffering? That's what you will find. Okay, here's, I'm going to lighten the whole, the whole uh, situation right now by, by telling you that in marriage, there are seven rings. If you're married, listen carefully. If you want to get married, listen carefully. And if you have no plans of getting married, uh, listen as well. Here we, go, here we go. The seven rings of marriage. Some people think there's only one. The one I'm wearing right now. No, there's seven. Number one, engagement ring. It's the ring of promise, of course. Number two, the wedding ring. It's when you enter into marriage. Here's Ring number three, discovering. You know, you, you wake up from the honeymoon and then you realize, OMG, did I marry this person? I did not know. <laughs> and number four is the topic for the day. Any marriage, talk to any married person, you will know there is suffering. Because when, you, when, you, when you're living with someone in the same house, believe you me, there will be suffering. Because that person comes from a different background. And you will not meet eye to eye. And there will be times when you will be in conflict. And there will be times when you can't stand the person suffering. And you know what? Many marriages, they end there. After the fourth ring, goodbye, bye-bye. Hopefully, some married people will say, no, I've made a commitment. Love, it's not about emotions. It's not about romance. It's not about feelings. Hey, I, I met a lot of married people. Brother Bo, I don't love him anymore. I don't love her anymore. Bye-bye. Wait a minute. Is marriage about feelings of love? No. Marriage is about commitment. It's about commitment. Making that day. Anyway, here's number five. Persevering in the midst of the suffering. You got that? Because if you're able to persevere, you go to the sixth ring, prospering. And that's what's happening to me now. I've been married for the past 19 years. And in all those 19 years, just making a decision to die to myself. You know, I always say this to people. What's the success of great marriages is that, you know, that <laughs> I love saying it, that uh, go, go look at the most successful, most loving marriages in the world. And you will find a common denominator. The guy is dead. The guy is dead. <laughs> Why? Because in, in the New Testament, the Bible says, you know, that the husband is to love the, the wife the same way that Jesus loved the church. What did Jesus, how did Jesus love the church? He died. Husbands, you take the lead. You die to yourself. Because if you die to yourself, the woman... The woman was designed by God to respond to that love. And then you're going to have a great marriage. <laughs> and friends, listen carefully to what I'm going to say. Prospering happens after you persevere in the suffering. And the seventh ring is offering. Because marriage is a gift to God. It's a gift 
to your children. It's a gift to the next generation. It's a gift to the people around you because marriage is a bright light that shines to the world. A beautiful, loving marriage is a witness that God is alive and God is love. Hi, my name is Bo Sanchez and welcome to Full Tank. This is your place of inspiration where I read a gospel for the day and I pray that it will inspire you. I do this from Monday to Friday, by the way. And here's a gospel. It's in Luke chapter 9. And Jesus says, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed. And on the third day, he, he, the third day he, he, he'd be raised. Listen, listen. If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Wow. You want to you wanna follow Jesus? You're going to go through suffering. You will. You will go through suffering. But in the same way that I went through those rings, that's what's going to happen to you. There's going to be... There's, there's, there's the engagement where, you're, where you make a promise to Jesus. You know, you, you, there's a wedding ring. Yes, when you, when you say, Lord God, I'm yours. And then there's a discovering because you realize, my gosh, it's not easy. And then, yes, there will be suffering in the Christian life. But there's a persevering. I pray you will persevere. And then you will, yes, have prospering also. The blessings of God will come. And then you will have the offering where you give your life to God. Friends, careful. Please understand. Suffering, it's not useless suffering. I'm a father. Let, let me end with this message. I'm a father, right? When, when I look at my kids and, and they're suffering, it's not like, oh, yeah, hey, they're suffering. I don't think God is like that. If, if I see my kids suffering, my two boys, I try my very best to alleviate that suffering. But there, there are some times when they're suffering and it's good for them because it, it strengthens them. You know, when I see my kids study and, and they're going through suffering because they're really trying their best, you know, I love that. I love that. Hard at work. Woo! When I see my eldest son, you know, with, with, with uh, Backstage, our, our, my, my second video show, and he's really working hard, I love that. You know, the tenacity, the commitment in the midst of that. I love that. When he's working hard for his youth ministry, wow! Why? It's building him up. It's strengthening his character. It's making him a better person. My dear friends, to carry the cross, it's not suffering for suffering's sake, no. It's suffering for the sake of love. If you make a decision to love someone, and then you're suffering because of that. Final example. My wife, sometimes she, she likes to shop. <laughs> no, not shopping for herself. She, she loves shopping... For, for groceries, for, for, for stuff in the house, for the kids especially. But she's a, she's a woman and, and, and she likes shopping. I hate shopping! And so she loves that in the sense that she, she understands me and I love that about her. She will just tell me, okay, go to that coffee shop and wait for me. Yay, hey, I love coffee shops. I love writing, reading. But, you know, there's so on occasion when she's shopping and she says, can you go with me, please, please, please? And so I'm walking and I'm tailing and I'm walking behind her. And what, what's happening? I'm suffering because I don't like that. But guess what? It's suffering with joy because I'm doing it for the person that I love, that I've chosen to be my wife. And that's the same thing. That's what I'm talking about. It's not suffering for suffering's sake. It's suffering for the sake of love. And so when I do that for her, yes, I am denying myself, carrying my cross. Can I pray for you? Lord Jesus, I ask you for a special blessing for every person here. I ask you for your Holy Spirit. I pray, Lord God, that you give them joy in the midst of suffering. I pray that they will suffer but, but with your power, with your strength in them so that they will continue to love. Bless them with all the miracles and the healing that they need. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. It's a joy to do this for you. And please do share this video. And please comment because I read all of them and I pray for you. Share, share, share. Let the world know about God's love. God bless you. See you tomorrow.